Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my wigs, but I wanted to start off this video with my natural hair, which feels so weird because I usually wear wigs like all the time, and if I don't have wigs, I usually have my hair um, dyed aerial red all throughout, which you can see has faded. Um, and then I would add extensions, and then I'll have like big mermaid hair at the very least but I have so many wigs so let's get started I'm gonna start off by putting on the Harley Quinn wig because this is gonna be the star of my next show my next video so yeah so what you want to do is get a hairnet preferably these I really like the ones that have a hole you put it over your head put your hair out then you take one side of the thing like that and you do this Whoop. um and then you're gonna take your wig and go from behind bring it forward line it up and boom um i have to style it like glue it down here bobby pin it here and do all of this maybe refix the ponytails but yeah, that's overall how you put on a wig. And you'll always get like this lace thing here. Yeah, you cut that off, but I haven't done that yet. So this is what this wig looks like. And just FYI, all of my wigs that I will be showing, or not all of them, but a big portion of them, unless I say otherwise, are from wigsfashion.com. And also, all of my wigs are lace front wigs. So if you guys are looking for a wig like mine, whether it's the same color or style, and you guys want it to look the way it does on me, lace front wigs is what I have. Um, the difference between lace front and a fashion wig is that the lace fronts, lace fronts look way more realistic and the fashion wigs do not. Um, so if you guys are doing, I don't know, for example, a Khaleesi cosplay, lace front is a must um, because, you know, she has like that pulled back look and everything and uh, it's very natural and that's kind of what lace fronts do for you. Uh, but if you guys are doing like a Melanie Martinez cosplay, for example, where you need bangs, you can definitely use a fashion wig because the whole purpose of a lace front is to make your hairline look realistic. So if you guys don't need to show your hairline, get a fashion wig. If you guys do need to show your hairline like here, get a lace front wig. Um, just keep in mind lace fronts are a little bit more expensive. Uh, so definitely consider that in your budget and yeah, that's basically all the information I have for you guys. So let's continue with this collection. <sighs> So this is my Joker wig. Um, it gets in your face quite a bit, but once you've got it pinned down and correctly uh, styled, it's really, really cute. You guys saw me wear this to the Batman um, movie, and I'm gonna wear this to see the Suicide Squad movie, but that is what that looks like. So this is my Tumblr famous wig. This is the one that went completely viral all over the internet. Um, I was actually one of the first people who had this hair color like trend or whatever it is. And that's all thanks to Powder Room D. He's the one that hopped on the trend and sent it to me. Um, but this used to be like this long and I just cut it up to here because I just felt like it looked so much cuter being short. Um, when it was long, it looked a little witch-like and like a little gothic and I didn't really like the look that it was giving me. So I just cut it short. Now this one is actually one of the very first wigs I've ever gotten but I've never worn this wig, literally never. I think I've done it for like one photo and then I deleted it. Like, I don't know why. I feel like this doesn't look all too great on me, uh, like the mint color, but I do like it. I think it's gorgeous. It's just maybe not for me. Okay, that looks really weird. Okay, I have not styled this yet whatsoever. This is like fresh out of the package. I have not used it whatsoever, so it looks really funny right now, but this one's a new one and it is a French braid one. Boom. And Wiggis Fashion actually braids these, like pre-braids them. So you guys can request any braid style when you order a wig. And this is what I did for the black one. <laughs> ah! Here is another new one that I have not worn yet. As you can see, I haven't cut the lace off at all. This is like brand new. Um, but it's like a fairy type of wig. So it looks like that. Yep. So I also have this one. This one is very like Khaleesi style and there's a braid in the back, just the same. But yeah, super cute. So this is my Judy Hops wig and basically I'm wearing this to my Judy cosplay and also my Judy Disney bound for my next trip to Disney. So, 
So this is my Roxanne wig. Um, I've worn this on the Bakhtar vlog and the Disney's Epcot vlog. And no joke, this is my favorite natural hair color um, on, like for me. Like I honestly would dye my hair this color if it wasn't so impossible to get. Um, but I guess a wig will do, I guess. Really cute though, I love it. So this is my Mary Dove wig. Uh, it was a horrible Irish accent, oh my god. Um, yeah, this is my Merida wig, and I actually got this on AliExpress. Um, very rare to find such a nice wig on AliExpress, but yeah, there's this one. And it's this long, very cute. Like I said, I love this color, so it makes me super happy whenever I wear it. I also have this wig, this is actually from Everyday Wigs, and this is what I use for Lady in the Tramp. Uh, or like, just a vintage look, so. So this is my Marina the Diamond wig, which I'm gonna do a transformation on her very soon. If you guys have seen it on my Instagram, that's what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, there's this wig. Oh my God, okay. Oh, I missed this wig. It has been so long since I've even put this on. and This is me. Should I bring this back? I've been thinking lately to bring back the pink because that's just me, but I don't know because a lot of you guys really like the blonde and now the blonde I've been wearing it simply because it matches with all of my clothing and I can wear a lot more fashionable things with the blonde one but the pink one is so cute and it's like so me uh, but I hate that it doesn't match with everything that I own so should I bring it back sometimes should I bring it back all the time and just make it happen like make it work I don't know comment down below your opinion on this wig, should I bring it back, should I not, should it be on a special occasion type of deal? Let me know and I'm gonna show you guys my next wig. So I also have this one, this one is my Rapunzel wig and it is 29 inches long. Um, and it goes down to the back of my ankles. Uh, this is made out of Yaki synthetic hair, not the typical synthetic hair. And whenever, you're, just FYI, whenever you guys are doing um, characters with really thick hair such as Rapunzel, get Yaki synthetic hair because it looks so much more realistic. There's no shine whatsoever to it. Um, and it's so much more thicker. Um, so I really, really, really recommend this. Now you guys know exactly where this wig is from. This is my Melanie Martinez um, wig that I wore for my tutorial. I was actually thinking of going to one of her concerts, like to one of her meet and greets dressed as her to take a photo with her. Um, and then posting it and then letting you guys decide who's who. So I might actually do that, I don't know. And this one is from Powder Room D, but that's what it looks like, very cute. You guys saw this in my Tumblr series. So this one is my sunset wig. I've actually never worn this other than for one photo, which is very weird because it's actually one of the prettiest ones I own. So you'd think I'd wear this the most, but I just like looking at it. Um, but it's supposed to look like a sunset. Um, and Powder Room D, on Instagram made this. He's really known for doing all of these really cool color and ombres and stuff. So so this is my Bunsy wig. Um, this is the one that Powder Room D made for Bundy's limited edition type of look. Um, I plan to actually straighten this out and wear this a little bit more often, but that's what this looks like and it's really, um, really big, really cute. So this is my Cruella de Vil wig, which is the one I wore for my makeup tutorial on Cruella de Vil. Um, but it's a little messy. I'm gonna need to brush it out. Maybe, maybe even straighten it out. It'll probably look really, oh my God, that's exactly what I'm gonna do at the end of this video. I'm gonna straighten this out and see what it looks like because it's gonna look so awesome. And I also have this one, which I wore last fall. And the very last one on the show is my Marilyn Monroe wig. This one looks very weird without my Marilyn makeup. Um, and it needs to be brushed out and styled. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Um, <laughs> look at the way this looks right here. What is this? Yeah, okay. I need to really fix this before I... Oh, wow. I can't make this look good. <sighs> now, for those wondering, why do I wear wigs? I just like them, guys. I'm a cosplayer, so it's part of my costumes, and I just enjoy the fact that I can change up my hair color without killing my real hair. Um, and I really got into wigs when I got my Miley haircut. If you guys remember when I doubled as Miley, um, 
I didn't have any hair and I really really loved my long hair so wigs could you know do that for me whenever I didn't want to be Miley I can uh, put on a wig and just be me so that is what got me into it but I do wear them still even though I have a full head of hair because I just like them so that is your answer so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which wig was your favorite. Which one would you wear? Um, make sure you like and subscribe so you guys don't miss my future videos. My Suicide Squad one is next for sure. I just made this video because it's going to take me two to three weeks to make the Suicide Squad one. Um, so this is kind of just like an in-between show until the real deal happens. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. And I got to go DIY some stuff. So I will see you guys in my next video.